Welcome to Multiplicity Crafts. Today oh, we are going to start off with 12 by 12 cardstock paper and this part here we're going to trim a half inch from the two sides. Um, that side and then if you almost like make an L shape, uh, flip it over and trim the other side. Now we are going to use a ruler or a straight edge and we're going to use it as a guide for the center of our paper to find the very center of the paper. And so when you have your ruler lined up, just use a pencil and make a small mark in the center of the paper. And we're going to do the same thing and just face the ruler the opposite direction and draw another line and this will make an X. We will be folding the corners of the paper to the center of this X we're making here. You may have noticed the little tool I'm using. This is just a bone folder. This helps to make the creases nice and tight and crisp. As you can see, we're just repeating this process of the folding on all four sides. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. Uh, this part we're going to fold the point of the paper to the crease that we just made. So the point of that paper there will go to that top crease as you can see. And also notice the creases on the side. Make sure those line up because that will keep your folds nice and straight. When you're finished, rotate your paper and repeat the same process. You'll notice the point of the paper goes to that crease up top. And then also on the sides, we're looking at the lines, the creases we've made to make sure they all line up also. Um, it's a little hard to see on camera, but in person you'll be able to see it a lot clearer. And we're again, we're just going to do this on all four sides. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. And this part, we're going to take the corner of the paper and we're just gonna fold it up to that first crease. So you'll notice it's just a very small fold. And again, we're gonna do this on all four sides. Okay, so we're on the home stretch now. We're going to need our scissors for this step. 
and we're just going to cut on the crease as shown. Now it's time to fold our box. Notice that I'm placing the point of the paper toward me to fold and it'll be that end that you'll fold. Just fold up as shown. And then after we fold this side, we will do the opposite side. Now this is going to form the edges of your box as you can kind of see it coming together. Notice how I just almost roll up the edges and fold in and at this point once you get your edges built up you can glue them if you want to but it will stay together even without glue okay so these final two uh, steps are the two flaps on the ends we just want to fold those two flaps over and this will complete the box um, Notice I didn't erase my pencil marks at the bottom of my box. Um, this was just for demonstration purposes, but you might want to erase your pencil marks. Um, again, you can glue the flaps in place if you wish, but that is entirely optional because the box will hold together without it. Um, that's the box base. Now, if you want to do the lid for it, you just do the exact same steps. The only difference is you do not cut your 12 by 12 paper before beginning. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow my blog at multiplicitycrafts.wordpress.com.